Well done to get it to Sathieu, but a challenge from Fire. That one almost bouncing in. Follow up from Justin, and he sneaks it in under the crossbar with a very exciting goal explosion. Bit of a, a little misguided challenge there, getting a fortunate bounce. AXB not able to read it off the crossbar, <laughs> and that was just a little bit disorientating, James. <laughs> Justin now off to the sign. A miss, this will leave the ball to Garrett, and Garrett shoots towards net. Sipical couldn't get back in time, and NRG extend their lead. Just some easy mistakes coming out from Space Station Gaming. A little bit of a whiff there, as you saw in the challenge, and Garrett just able to get a free open net. Hit to the side by Sathieu. Sathieu on zero boost. That shot, no one home, and now three to nothing. NRG running away with game one. And this is what I talk about when I say NRG doing what they do best, and that's just keeping consistent, making these little mistakes that Space Station Gaming are doing and capitalizing on them. Looking for these angles, and the infield pass again. Good vision by Sathieu, a good idea, but that pull is just going to get the or a hat trick from Justin NRG on the other end. Every single goal so far has actually been these counterattacks on just basically capitalizing over the over on the overgression. And even there, you see, NRG just so fast to the ball, they let those passing lanes seem like they're open, and then they just counterattack. Now five goals for NRG. You just intercepted, and you have so much space. Once you cut off a pass in the pitch, you have so much more space to work with. Take your time and then find the cross like Justin just did. See if anything can come of this. AXB down to the NRG corner. Shot coming in. Garrett couldn't make the save. Sathieu able to slam this one in underneath the crossbar. Look at bar. just the differences between the, the passes and the, the honestly the location of Sathieu there. Reading that Justin could get a boomer hit. Was able to pass it to himself and jump off the wall to get the shot. Fireburner going for a double tap. And he hits the double tap. Ooh. Fireburner with the nutty shot to tie it up using the back of his car to angle it completely down. He gets so high up, he has to hit the ball directly down in order to manage to hit that angle. Garrett, first touch to himself, but he gets bumped out of the play. And now a missed touch here, chance for Fire to finish it off. And that's He's it. not gonna miss, and NRG close it out in overtime. Look at this little soft touch from Justin to pop it up, barely enough for Fireburner to come in right for the shot. Great positioning from Fireburner as well to be kind of shadowing Justin there. Could be all it takes to get the W in game three. Still no goals so far, but this one's gonna break the... <laughs> The standstill, the deadlock. Garrett G. Absolute rocket from Garrett G. This is just fundamentally a fantastic shot. Seeing that AXB is running in on the wall. Jaywiz is able to get it out. Karma getting beat to the ball net wide open. You see her just let off the gas, AJ. Just getting the first goal for Rogue. The speed to react, AJ instantly pops his car up, beats him to the ball. Is that Was that Karma that was waiting for the ball? Not a chance there for Kronovi, but he had to turn around. No boost, and AJ slowing down the assault, oh. but he didn't do enough. Nose dude gonna get credited for this one. That is just an unfortunate uh, turn of events. I don't know, he spun his car at the worst time. Didn't get any momentum into the ball. Despite the pressure being in favor of Rogue. Now they do come through. Wonder off this rebound, gonna get the go-ahead goal for Rogue. We talked about it earlier, waiting to see if your opponent's actually gonna make a hit. Wonder thinking Karma could possibly get the hit, but instead he just trusts his gut and goes through and follows through with the shot. And like you said, good commitment on the attack. That's gonna net Rogue a goal, and almost another one. Kronovi just forcing that one through. Just quick. Quick shots. Karma trying to get it clear. Nobody's back. Where's Dude with the nose? Trying to rotate in. Doesn't even get the challenge. Doesn't get the shot on target, but still Rogue. Shot after shot after shot, and Wonder finally beats the defense. Rogue up four to one. With so much pressure, you gotta get organized. And if this keeps going and nobody can get it clear, mistakes like this are gonna happen. Last second saves were Dude with the nose. This is the second time. Kronobi up. Beats out Nose Dude to the middle. Wonder gets a piece of that one. Follow up shot bounced in from AJ. That's his second goal. The flashy play from AJ spinning his car and actually placing it perfectly even after the rotation on the right side. It comes down again to Karma trying to get there in time. Something to kind of boost their spirits and get a solid goal here in game two. 
And a miss there, that's gonna really impact the Spirits Turtle. Kronovi able to sneak one by because of the defensive mistake here by Nose Look at AJ, do you see the double touch he got? Still spinning his car. This man is a freestyler this game. Ready and waiting was Wonder. Dangerous ball, double commit here, and a beautiful pass, light pass again. And now Wonder is gonna put this in. Look at the passes from Kronovi and AJ. Staying on the wall, he lands perfectly, oh. jumps again and blocks it and sends it out into the midfield. That is that is all Kronovi right there who even have a chance at blocking the, the clear. Kronovi going for the bump, paving the way for AJ. Rogue putting in their third goal. Proving that he might be a team captain here, making huge star plays. Kronovi coming in with a bump on bump. the wall. Just deleted him, holy moly. A contest, we talk about challenges, and you can get a better challenge if you're actually dribbling. And a wonderful drop down. Another defensive situation that was quite precarious. You see Karma missing the hit there, and then look at that little touch from Kronovi. That, that was fantastic. That was really what you want to see out of Kronovi. We see a double bump there from Wonder. Maybe one more goal for Rogue. Ooh. Wonder padding the stats, five to nothing. That's a great bounce there off that challenge. Perfectly set up Wonder and going for the bump for Karma, giving her no option but to drive upside down in her net. The verge of being swept. Gonna have to find something that works. And again, out of the gate, Kronovi. Coming through. This was just an insane shot. Look at him coming with his angle. Do you see how difficult this is? You only have one option, and that's just to clear it directly to the side. Picking up full boost there, but getting beat to the ball. AJ with the shot. How did he get this much power on the shot? What a shot from AJ. Timing the flick, whenever he does his flip right here, it's, it's literally exactly when and where you want to hit the spin and the rotation with your car. Could have been three to nothing right there. Hustle from AJ, sends it to the middle, and the follow-up from Wonder. Rogue running away with game three. Still beating Splice on these awkward contests. You saw a dude with the nose there accidentally flipping at the wrong time, which means he didn't have as much time to recollect himself. Possession that Rogue has. They are just taking corner boost after corner boost and keeping the pressure on. And Kronovi running away with another one. A solo play and a bit of an open net with a slow rotation. And just a a self pass to or a self pass there that first touch setting him up to get the shot and it was a good idea from Squishy to go back behind Classics as he was rotating into the net because he could only defend the near post. Oh, there And is. the second opportunity to the top of the box, gimmick to Squishy Muffins. They finally break him down. Finally just take shooting dead center with no goalies. Just have to beat Drippa. He's a little bit out of position. Squishy's able to get the first goal. And you saw Classics actually do that on the last possession from Cloud9. He went all the ba way back, oh. was able to stop the first one, but they oh. won't stop number two. Gimmick is just has everybody beat because everybody in the net free will genius oh, but it was gimmick up to torment deep in enemy territory drops it straight down and then gimmick chases down his own pass balls allowed it's corrupted drops this one down dripping now having to rotate back gimmick gets it up above him in classics and now will get bumped by gimmick squishy he'll send in the goal a perfect play and cloud nine's got the lead that actually goes all the way back to yeah that touch right there yeah. from corrupted g dripping and classics both of them heading over to the side because corrupted g's language of his car says we're off the sidewalls but usually as the lead player challenging the ball not as the second contact though corrupted oh, there we go. get in the way of torment finally create an opening and classics is able to score the first one on the board for evil genius is indeed a product of corrupted g coming off the wall there actually no torment i think took himself off the line it looked like on a second look at it being won by cloud nine so they put another backboard once more. Here comes Torment with a shot. Drippe makes the save, but Gimmick's there looking for the pass across. Actually looking for a shot, and yep. Torment will finally finish it off. Another lead back for Cloud9. Yeah, this was just rolling around the corners of Evil Geniuses for so long, and every time it got out there, Cloud9 was also able to steal away that corner boost. Lawler was talking about that before the game started. They're going to be in their face. Backboard a bit wide, and Squishy will look to carry this one out from his own corner. A nice flick past Classics. Now he's got a pass corrupted. Yeah. G. It's an open net. He should be able to put it in, and that's a two-goal lead for Cloud9. And that's what I was talking about on the pre-show is Decision making a little bit too close. Corrupted G, the third man back, also a little bit too close. A little too much faith in them being able to get a challenge on Squishy Muffins. 
Challenge from Classics is good. Squishy now passing up to Gimmick. Looking back across to Squishy. Finds the shot back in. Cloud9's pass plays all as immaculate as they get their lead up to three. That all starts right before that replay kicked off. Gimmick keeping the ball close to him on the midfield line instead of just banging it towards that corner. Gave it a soft first touch. You give yourself so many options. Yeah. And the biggest thing is the other team has to challenge you. You're going to eliminate one player. As Torment finds another Ooh. shot. And this one gets a little bit of help from the other side. Not the sort of goal you want to see on Evil Geniuses. Yeah. Drippe, definitely the guy who needed to be up for that first one, but wasn't in a good position, was facing backwards. And Corrupted G had to jump at it, was willing to take the risk. On the RLCS, we have a different map rotation every week. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Squishy if you're finds EG, the And not, still. not thank goodness. I take it all back. Squishy finds the goal following contact from his teammates. His gimmick was up just a bit wide, but Squishy with a great follow. Here's the thing, I was saying, that every week we have a different map rotation. Not the best setup for Cloud9. They get it all the way back down the field off the work from Gimmick and Torment. And now Squishy and Gimmick working together again. Another goal. The brutal victories continue for Cloud9 just when it looks like maybe Evil Genius just has a chance. And that actually went all the way back to, oh. to when there was a demo in the Cloud9 corner. It was Corrupted G challenge. He had to drive all the way back to his own corner to make the first play. Oh. And that time, and hey. yes. Uh, they find a response. Evil Geniuses get on the board here in game three. I think it's just a one goal game now. Well, they get one back, and that's crucial. And thankfully, Cloud9 was nice enough to <laughs> hand it right to him. Classics finding Corrupted G in the midfield, and now finding him in the corner. Going to maybe see if he can meet up with Drippe, but couldn't make contact, but he finds him anyways. Drippe gets it in, and we've got a tie game. Drippe's had enough of uh, just always having to wait his turn this go around. He says, whatever, we're going for it. <laughs> it's Classics almost. <laughs> it's, it's the, the, the passes from Classics piling on is finally Evil Geniuses get it back out to midfield just to be punched right back in. Oh, and that's a nasty hop to oh. the middle, and they can't do anything about it. That bounce off the corner. There was no chance with this touch from Gimmick. Corrupted G, uh, he had no idea what that ball was going to do, and it became worst case scenario, middle of the box. And that just buys a few precious moments. Classics tries to sneak oh. one into the lower left-hand oh, corner. Down man. the gut. Corrupted G will tie it up. <laughs> Corrupted G. They are needing two shots every time to score right now, but at least it was there. Had the speed 110 kilometers per hour. He puts it in 68 miles per hour. Drip it with a pinch off the ceiling. Gimmick gets it back away. Keeps the power on it, too, so it's back to midfield. Gimmick. Oh, oh no. Goal. You're kidding. What just, no, are you kidding? No. Cloud9 throw game three, and we're going to game four, Chiefs. And Torment actually made a good play. He went to the, he immediately went back to his own uh, back wall after that initial clear from Gimmick off the back wall. He was just moving into the corner saying, hey, I've got to put the team on my back. I was a clutch player in Australia. Can I do it again? Gimmick, are you kidding? I was like, he's got to pass it to Squishy, right? He's not going to be able to find the shot by himself, but Gimmick finds it to lead in game four. Ah, classics, just a little too far forward. He didn't want to run into that lip going for that challenge, and it's just a... The ball will stay neutral, an excellent challenge from the Pirate, but Gimmick gets a pass too. Corrupted G stops it, but Torment's back in with the shot. 2-0 for Cloud9. The double commits keep hurting evil geniuses. Double commits the real problem, but also... Gimmick again, showing that why first touch is so important. Just a nice little tap, see what's in front of you. Drops it back to Gimmick. Drippe now, looking for Corrupted G for the infield pass. Shot on target, Squishy Score gets it. one save, but Drippe's there to put it in. 33 seconds left, and Evil Geniuses have a hope. And again, they catch Cloud9 on the counterattack. Gimmick not able to tip the ball to safety into the corner. Squishy as well. Just too close to that near post, it was shot. Because even if Lethemir and Memory win challenge in the midfield, their next problem is they're going to have to get past that brick wall in JNAPS. But right now, we'll start off with JNAPS in the net. Oh, look at that. Following the kickoff, a quick, aggressive play. Chicago finds it off the backboard. Lethemir couldn't make the contact. And then JNAPS punches it in there, rocking the new G2 decals. Lucian now looking to get it out to Memory. He goes for the dribbles, gets a pass Rizzo. Now into the orange. JNAP's the next challenge, doesn't even need any help to get it in. Ghosts tie the series. Well, I say you're going to have to get past the brick wall in JNAP's if you get past the midfield line, and Memory had no problems doing that because even JNAP's, who's in the corner with 80 boost. The save, get it away, but it did look like Memory was far enough out. Rizzo puts it, you know, I just wanted to talk about that goal. They're like, nope, here we go. Outfield pass and the lead's back to G2. It's just great vision from Jane Apps over to Rizzo. A big hold from Ghost on defense, and Rizzo had a little bit of a struggle last week finding the ball into the back of the net. But now Memory back out into midfield. 
Ghost able to avoid some sticky situations, but they leave the back all the way open, and JNAP scores a third goal. Yep, you are absolutely right, Illusion here. It's just pushed right into the middle, and where was number three? He was over on the far side. Lethemir over on the G2 half. Rizzo and JNAP's both up. They will win contact. Memory gets a pass. It's just Chicago. Memory, can he get it past him again? Finds the same wow. shot. Are you kidding me? Two in one game for Memory. A one goal game now. Just slipped it right between the two oncoming members of G2 again. That's just poor communication, and it leaves Chicago in the one on one. And it punted high all the way into the corner. That was the opportunity for Ghost. Rizzo now through the air, finds the double tapping in, the nail in the coffin. Two seconds remaining, it'll be a G2 victory. There's a big demo from Rizzo in the midfield on Aleutian. And then, after that, nobody there to follow up because he just demoed him. Chicago now back out. Aleutian challenging is G2. A little bit low on the boost game, and Jane Apps will get caught backwards. Memory finds the shot behind him. Placement, the name of the game, as they take the lead for a second game in a row. Yeah, all flat-footed, and Rizzo, he tried. He used everything in the tank to try and get up that and challenge Aleutian there, who was tipping it towards the from Ghost Gaming, recognizing everybody's on the ground. They missed the clear. Oh. We need to make this happen. Chicago looks for life. Amir doesn't matter. Jane Epps finds it and ties it up. Similar to I said that G2, I said that was the second game in a row that Ghost took the lead. They did not. They tied up the game quickly after G2 found the initial lead. And here, things are the other way around. Yeah, this is just a kickoff gone unfortunately wrong. Jane Epps, and he turned away. Maybe too low on boost, not willing to commit. That's sort of deep. Well, it works out. They're all right. They get the ball back into the middle, bait the players over to the side. They all start to move out of the way and just leave the goal wide open for Aleutian. Yep. Nice job from Lethemir. Great vision, good communication. Aleutian saying top of the box. And a perfect pass to get it just out of reach. Looking for players in goal. Chicago, pass one, pass two. Aleutian alone in net. JNAPS takes the shot. Aleutian can't get up in time. And it's a tie game. That was just chaos being sown by Rizzo in the net. He didn't actually bump anybody, but it was that touch from Chicago out to the top of the box that really hangs Aleutian. He says, good luck. Save it if you can. Good eyes on a swivel. Just make sure to get away from your teammate there. Pass to the they top, Chicago Finally. will finish it. Jay Naps with the command right next to the back wall. Eight minutes and 11 seconds of overtime. Quite a lengthy one. I don't believe it breaks the record, but it's up there in the record books. Now, back into the box here, memory. Oh, It's hello. into the goal, finds a way to score it. Well, that one will just slip on through past everybody, Lethemir. Just make sure to get that second challenge away, and Rizzo just lost. Chicago couldn't really do anything. A long punt from Ghost. Chicago carries this under the wall. Here comes Jane Apps, a shot on target. It's into the goal despite Illusion's best efforts. Got a wheel onto it, but it wasn't enough. So close. Nice touch, though, from Chicago. Big hole on the back wall for Ghost. And again, Illusion ready to defend the middle of the net. Clears. It's like neither team wants to hold onto the ball at the moment. Well, it is moving quite fast. It's tough to hang on to it, and that is right, Wave Punk. <laughs> that was a good goal. Here comes Chicago and Jane Apps. This one's set up high, beats memory, and look at Jane Apps here coming out of goal, gets up, flips his car upside down. Rizzo with a nice long one, Illusion over to the side. Chicago through two and another one in. 17 seconds left, G2 after a crazy game two have had some pretty solid control here in game number three and look to finish off Ghost. Ball and splices half, give them no breathing room whatsoever. And Cronovi had fantastic passing plays, but as I say it, you know, maybe a little bit of a pass to Squishy here. Squishy just cutting him off and launching that one into the net. And right from the corner too, gets this, that's, a, that's not an easy angle. It is turned away by Torment. Still Rogue starting to swing things their way. AJ under this ball, gets a touch out to the right. Oh! Corbett can't do it! AJ making a miss off the side, and Rogue tie the game. AJ gets his flip back, goes and hits it with the underside of his car, completely throwing Torment off. Challenges against Splice, and that's what let them keep the attack going. And we're seeing more of that now, but Gimmick winning a challenge of his own here, getting Cloud9 the lead. And you see there, just a, two players coming up. An absolute crushing challenge there by Gimmick as he just sits there and watches it go in. Rogue, after fighting back to tie the game up, 
They're gonna try to do so again. The ball slips by everybody. Squishy finds the gap and picks up the insurance against Rogue. Remember that uh, conversation we had about 50-50s and, and challenges? Yeah, well, there's another good <laughs> example right there. This time it was Squishy. We've talked about this Rogue team as they almost allow another goal. Kornovi picks oh, up the oh. save, Squishy follows it up and putting the game squarely out of reach for Rogue. And then again, Cloud9 there. Uh, a little bit of miscommunication. It looked like Kronovi and AJ not able to get the defensive line on the ball. They were shook. Make a save onto it. He wanted to hit that one high and it just got a little a little away from him. A little too high off the crossbar. Demo opens it up. Wonder scores off the assist from Kronovi. Team effort by Rogue. They score first. Yeah, absolutely. Kronovi just doing a good job of hustling to the goal line and taking out that final defender. Wonder going to bounce that one in. Plays it to his own back wall. Kronovi continuing the press, gets the demo while he got away from the ball, passes out to AJ, and oh. AJ scores for Rogue. This is a great play by Kronovi across yeah, the pitch. This is a trademark Kronovi play. Instead of rotating out, look at him. He goes up the wall and passes it out to AJ. That was a, a nice job by AJ too. And again, excellent defense from Kronovi. He is having such a great week so far. And an open net for AJ. That's gonna be the third now for Rogue, second for AJ in the game. Torment tried to slow that one down, tried to buy some time, maybe throwing off Rogue as they maybe wanted to get quick on the transition. It's a good challenge by Torment. Just buy some more time for Cloud9. And Gimmick was given the ball right there off the crossbar. Squishy rolls it under. Cloud9 a minute in. Get the first goal of the game. And you can see here Gimmick just taking his time here, pounding that one, and it actually hit off the crossbar a little bit. A pass out to... Gimmick, Torment picked that one up. Gimmick goes back to his own pass off the crossbar and in. Somehow Gimmick gets through Rogue's defense and they're up 2-0. Well, I mean, keep your eyes on AJ here. He went to jump for it and he accidentally side flipped right there. He did have enough boost to make a play on the ball. Goal scorer this season. Another quick pass out for Rogue, but Gimmick is there to defend again. Gimmick has a breakaway. Gimmick has a goal and Cloud9 up by three. A really tough situation for the Kronovi to be in. He was expecting AJ to at least get a piece of that ball, even trying to wave dash toward it. But Gimmick just getting to that ball very quickly. Racing back, AJ's able to hop back and make a save. Just waste more time. Cloud9 score again, oh, oh. and that's a fourth one as Torment picks another one up. And, and take a look at Gimmick here. He gets the demo after the pass and jumps down at Wonder, preventing Wonder from coming out to get the hit. At being able to position themselves to win most challenges, and they've just they've made that adjustment. They've won those challenges. Wonder's going to pick up a goal here. Does not matter with 20 seconds left. Rogue have to keep adjusting to how Cloud9 are playing this, and even when they do have that semblance of pressure, Gimmick has really just been locked down in both of Cloud9's corners. Waste boost. They just haven't been able to perform in game number three. And that one's just going to bounce right in. Gimmick. Why not? Hat trick. Yeah, hat trick for him. Three goals on eight shots. But you're right, it's just the challenge game here. And you know, Wonder, he had to hit that to the corner. He had to hit that to the side as soon as he missed. Are undefeated. still undefeated. Yeah, G2 4-0 in our G3-0. Cloud9 currently 3-0, about to be 4-0. And, and it starts with Squishy scoring for Cloud9. Torment off the assists. Cloud9, 16 seconds is all it takes. And you could see again, Kronovi second guessing himself on the challenge. Had he gone for that 50-50 originally on the wall. Do clear it out. Classic shot on target, but it's right into Justin. NRG on the quick transition. Justin from Garrett G into the net. Garrett with that pass out, and they take the lead. They had a chance to go back on offense, but Classics didn't have any help as he tried to pass that ball into the midfield. Nobody was at the top of the box, and he ended up just putting a shot right down into the middle. Watching NRG play. Some of the things Justin can do with the ball. That one just a quick pass out, but a double demo for Fireburner. Garrett tees it up for Justin. Another goal for NRG. Like you said, it's a huge demo from Fireburner. Well known for that just as much as Classics is on EG. And just stole it right away. Nine. And it's been tough so far. Both players, or two players on Evil Geniuses for about 20 or 30 seconds oh, there. Hello. Classic picks up a goal, never mind. He finds. Free open range, and they cut the lead in half. It did kind of just 
kick right to him off the midfield. And, oh, okay, Drippe got a piece of Justin. That's what I didn't see the first go around. Time on the back and coming around is NRG. That was the best opportunity for Evil Geniuses. There was a lot of pressure on Justin to get a touch in the midfield, and they get pushed back onto their own half after not being able to capitalize. Corrupted G pixels off the clear. Yeah, he just has to make that touch. That's all it comes down to off the backboard with whatever comes for NRG, but Achieves, I mean, it's just been outstanding pressure from NRG, outstanding control. I feel like every time I switch to a player on Evil Geniuses, they're sitting on low to no boost. Only one player at any given time has over even 40 boost at any point in time. Keeping this one close, and he has some space. He flips under one, tries to get past Classics. Classic makes a challenge, but Justin wins this one. Open for NRG, sends it to Garrett G for the tip in. NRG score first. Oh, the ease with which Justin just gets inside everybody's head. <laughs> That was incredible. He has a dribble on one guy. In the offensive half to try to generate chances, but it, it feels like it comes at inopportune times. Justin off the bump from Fireburner picks up another goal involved in the entire offense for NRG in this series. Right before this replay started, Drippe had a chance to go kick the ball down towards the midfield. With any time left if they have hope in game number two. Drippe here, gone. Open net, score for NRG. Three goals, absolute clinical performance. NRG are killing it. Nail meet coffin, and that will seal the deal for game number two for NRG, and they tried. Who can actually take these teams on? And around, Drippe looking for classics. It's oh. off and in. It looked like it might have bounced out off the post. Drippe on the assist picks it up for classics. Well, it's good to see Evil Geniuses pick up right where they started game number two from. Plenty of pressure and indeed the off, off the side of the net. Getting a little taste of what NRG were doing. Actually, I think Evil Geniuses were doing a little bit better earlier, but this one is just too fast. Fireburner, he can pick the back wall. He can go to the top of the box. And he knows that Justin is in perfect position for this, and he's got Corrupted G straight beat. But the most important part of that, saved by Justin. It was going to kick right back into Classics. Corrupted G, light pass over to Classics, back over to Trip A. Demo opens it up. Justin can't make the save. Evil Geniuses take the lead right back. And finally, they get that demo at just the right moment when you were talking about. Corrupted G will say goodbye to Garrett G. And for once, Justin can't cover up. Justin so quick back up to the ball. And as he's sent, this is good. Classics over to Drippe off the backboard. And Evil Geniuses take a two goal lead against NRG. It finally caught NRG out of sorts. They caught Justin going for a challenge, and they just didn't make it there for NRG. And it left Fireburner and Garrett G and go to himself off the back wall. And this isn't. Too big of a surprise for Evil Geniuses based off of what we've seen in this series. Of course, off the kickoff, Garrett G scores and pulls within one. They get it right back, and Corrupted G was off, about to go grab boost in the other corner. He got that one stolen away from him as well as he came across back the other way. Drippe's had success, and unfortunately, no help. Pass to Garrett G and over his head. Right off the ramp. Oh, Justin you're kidding. Got baited him out. Gets him right through. And NRG tie the game up with 35 seconds left. Garrett G misses the ball. And two defenders went for that from Evil Geniuses. Unfortunate communication breakdown. Flips it over Fireburner. Back to Trippe. Here's EG on the transition. Trippe. Oh, so close. He can't do it. Corrupted G can. And Evil Geniuses force game four. And again, they caught NRG a little too aggressive. Fireburner wasn't able to win that challenge in the midfield. Justin again in charge of being in a very tough spot off his own back wall. And some early back and forth in the first minute. Oh, he's past Transition it. for Justin right off the post and in. And if it even touched the post, it was so fast of a shot. Didn't get a chance to see. And Justin just snuck right past Corrupted G. You actually saw Justin wheel around in the replay if you were on his camera. Notice Justin's already by him. Doesn't recognize that he's about to get a banger of a pass over his head and he can't stop it. And, and that one off the kickoff will make it 2-0 NRG. It comes, yeah, like you said, right off the kickoff. Justin winning that first one. Classics, he, Justin's right in front of him. He's just trying to play it away from Justin. He's between a rock and a hard place. Where do you play that ball? He's been solid on the backboard all day. NRG solid on the transition all day. And NRG overall just solid fire burner. Picking up his own goal where it just feels like the majority of them have been Justin scoring, but all three members of NRG have a goal in game number four. It was a good job from Corrupted G, honestly. Catching that touch 
from Garrett G. 13. So it, about half. So about half of the goals Not come even from including Justin. assists. Yeah, exactly. His goal participation is insane on this team. And you can point to every member of NRG. It really doesn't matter. I mean, they were just putting on pressure here against Evil Geniuses, and they pick up this goal. It's a good pass out to Fireburner, a good continuation. No one from Evil Geniuses comes to challenge the ball. They're just so dominant, Achieves. Evil Geniuses have only mustered two shots. They've just gotten smothered out like you were talking about. Let's make it five. Why not? Sure. And basically, that's another calling card of those teams at the top. Dignitas for so long. Cloud9, NRG, TSM, any team that's ever been on top of Rocket League at one point or the other. It became hard to come by for a while. And now it's just, it's reverted back. And, and I don't mean it was like super defensive, like it was one to two for everybody. That wasn't the case, but it definitely felt more defensive this season in North America. It's not that at all. Even in Europe, a lot of goals are being scored this season. NRG picking up six here. I mean, against Evil Geniuses, and we've pointed out the player of the game in this series. It doesn't matter. It's all of NRG. Time expires, and in four games, NRG, the whole big three remain undefeated in league play here in Season 7. And a little cherry on top here to put it off with a nice cap. And a 1-2. Garrett G to Justin from the midfield line. We'll see you later. <laughs>